take this jump box slash air compressor. Somewhere back in here is a port for my air shocks. And I'm hoping if I lift the back of my truck, it'll lift the front of the trailer and make it not such a steep incline for the Firebird to go on. It's lower, but I can't remember how much, like inch and a half or two inches. It stiffens it up a lot more too. Oh yeah. Like, that's really not that bad of an incline. No, it ain't at all. Hey. Uh -huh. What's up? Hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Got that on camera. Good. I meant to do that. Hard work in February. <laughs> yeah, look at the rat shit over there in the red thing. Go show them that. Oh, so now sad. You, now you tell me. <laughs> oh, look, I got some shit for that. It's supposed to. It's supposed to repel them. We've got it in all our tractors on the farm. It's called Fresh Cab Botanical Rodent Repellent. And it smells awesome. Do you smell that? Is it actually? Dude, yes. I think so. It's, it does. It's got a weird it's freshness like a, to it, doesn't it? It's like a body wash smell or something. Let's check the oil in it. Let's check the oil in this thing. Let's do a wipe and check it again. Yeah. But, she's good. Alright, start it. Alright, we turn this thing. Everything ready? Trailer looks like it's pretty mellow. Thing's got year old gas in it. Oh, I was one turn away. I bet you got juice now. Honeycutt, he's an older fella. Look at that camera. <laughs> yep, she's going in storage. Now let's see if she fires up. Dude, it smells like a mouse has been in here and possibly died. Damn. <laughs> It kind of seems a little dead. I definitely smell gas. I say we hook that jump box onto it. Got the glizzy on. Come on, Elsie. Yeah, give it some love. <laughs> Come on. It wanted to. Come on, I thought it was going to work. You <laughs> got it. Barely pull the throttle, just barely. Alright. Oh, I got a bad connection, that's what it is, dude. Just flitter fluttered again. Flitter fluttered. I'll get it right one day. Yeah, just don't weld your hand to the yeah. frame. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ah, it wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, you, you had mud on it. It was spinning on that. You just burned the rubber over there. On the, on the <laughs> Damn. Cool. <laughs> well, you hey, lined up hey, really hey. good, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And check this out. My door opens over the fender. Yep. On the lowered ass body. <laughs> Yep. Sounds good too. Yep. <laughs> good old GM. Oh, I have, I have a bunch of stress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't going nowhere. It was just going to hit the house, but. <laughs> yeah, I should just wedge it up against the house, dude. <laughs> Mel, uh, what are you doing? Get up here. Crazy dog. She just gone out of nowhere. <laughs> It's gonna look sick on camera. <laughs> it hit it right in the camera. Yeah. Bitch. Get it. <laughs> Shoot, I can probably carry that. I bet you can carry that front disc. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, don't slam it on the bed because it might break through. Think you got the motor by yourself? Shit, yeah, <laughs> I was just looking for something else carrying the other hand. I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> and that'll probably be good for now. See, so can you see where the muffler's blown out? Oh yeah, check out the muffler Sorry, under the back bumper. Oh, I right put it under here. Oh, you did? Yeah, I want to see. Oh my god. Yeah, That's dude, I, I was driving one day. <laughs> I was driving home from work one day, and it was like sputtering really hard and i was like what in the world so i floored it trying to like clear it out and my muffler just went boom <laughs> <laughs> it's super plain Jane in here, but it's cheap. It's all in here. Oh, yes. Look how large. Oh yeah. The, the lights are not yet. Oh, you can try it, but I don't think they work yet. No. Yeah, no lights, but right. what you're looking at wow. is a soon-to-be S10 warehouse. Yeah, you can tell it needs a little bit of work. But we're supposed to be getting gravel, and I'm gonna rent one of those like skid steers and Hell then like yeah. smooth it out in here. Oh, All right, now look at it. There's so much more light in here. Open it all the way. Yeah, that's sick. gonna be and we brought a handful of parts over here with us 94 97 core support ZR2 front diff four-wheel drive transfer case but yeah more vehicles to come more parts to come more shelves gotta get the electric turned on still possibly get the water turned on but yeah, we're on a roll.
Your brake's locked up in the back bed. Oh yeah, it's just it's not rolling at all. Tell him I'm in gear. Yeah, you're good. Keep going. Alright, now you're sliding sideways. <laughs>
shout out to Brennis. Went and uh, picked up a skid steer, went over to the new S10 warehouse, as I tend to call it. And they spread out some of that rock, and that rock wasn't supposed to go all the way, but it was just enough to close the doors and spread some around on the inside. I just wanted to let everybody know, we're renting this place, we don't own it, I wish we did own it. Uh, we would probably do things a little bit differently. But yeah, we're pulling up to it now, and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the outside. There hasn't been a whole lot of footage from the outside. Um, here it is. There it is, I know it's hard to see. Really stoked to have this rock spread over here, because these doors, they closed all the way, but the ground was so dug out underneath of it that anybody could have just crawled right under there. I'm gonna leave this thing running because the battery was dead, and I do not want to have to call somebody and give me a jump start. Yeah, the gravel looks great. Closed up the gap underneath the door. Nobody's gonna be able to crawl under them now. That's great. That was my biggest concern with this place. Looks excellent. It's gonna have to get packed down a little bit. It's still fresh gravel. I have not seen this since they got it done, so hopefully I'm a little bit impressed. Oh, you guys can't see that yet. And yes, we did get the lights turned on. I'm stoked about that. Um, I'm not stoked about the price it cost to get it transferred into my name. It was like $250 just to switch the electric in my name. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's not any charging for electricity at all. That's just switching it into my name. Okay, here we are. I'm just gonna blur out what you're not supposed to see. Yes, I know. Why are there F bodies in an S10 warehouse? Well, I just didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, put them. Didn't have anywhere to put them and I do not plan on selling them. So both of them hold sentimental value to me. This was my first car. Um, it got this little bit of damage done to it and I kind of lost interest in it. This, this is my first V8 car, first T-top car, first automatic car. Me and a buddy who's passed away now swapped this engine in there. So I, I gotta hold on to it. I can't just let it go. It holds some good memories. We have nothing organized. Everything's just kind of, kind of piled in with other things right now. We've got a bunch of doors over here. Behind every sheet of cardboard you see there is two doors. Bunch of seats over here, bumpers, exhaust pieces, wheels and tires. All of these parts here are for the next video and you'll see what's going on with that. There's a, there's a good 94, 97 dash over there, a bunch of reservoirs, some glass. I'll walk you guys through what the plan is. Over here, I am going to have shelves all the way up there, big shelves. And that's gonna be where most of the parts are gonna be at. Over here, probably the same thing, except we've got a bunch of electrical plugs on this side. The other side doesn't have any electrical plugs. Got a bunch on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six electrical plugs right here. That will probably hold all of the parts that we have right now. I'm probably gonna go all the way up to the ceiling with it. Just huge shelves stuff parts in, stuff doors in, big enough to hold anything on a vehicle besides a cab or a frame or a bed, you know, something like that. So if you guys have any ideas of what I should do, any ideas of how we should make the shelves, any ideas of what we should do in here in general, just let me know, leave a comment. Essentially, I just couldn't pass the place up. I was looking for a place to store the Camaro and the Firebird and Storage units were high. I found one that was possibly a two car storage unit and it was 200 bucks. Ended up coming across this huge barn. I know it's not concrete. It's mostly dirt and now I've got some gravel on there. I found this place and I was like, wow, I can put the F bodies in there and I can put all of my parts in there. So I've got all of these parts. I haven't restocked parts in a very long time. Man, it's been, at least two years since I bought a parts vehicle and these parts have been 
stripped off of all of those parts vehicles that we had before. You've seen them in previous videos. If you guys have a cheap S10 you wanna sell, a parts S10 or whatever, let me know if you're anywhere near Kentucky. I will probably buy it because I'm gonna have a ton of room in here to buy parts vehicles and strip them down. All of my wrenching and stuff, I'm still gonna do at the house. It's too convenient. All my tools are there, my workbench, my welder, everything I've got is over there at the house. But uh, yeah, at least I have somewhere to put all of these parts. At least I have somewhere to put a parts vehicle if I find one cheap that I can't pass up. So yeah, if you guys got a parts vehicle you wanna sell, let me know. I'm not traveling several hours to get a cheap parts vehicle, no way. But if you're anywhere near Kentucky, holler at me. Cash in hand. Probably gonna go run around town for a little bit. You know, it's boost weather out there and I gotta take advantage of it. So that's it for this one. Peace out, I'll see you guys next time.